Good morning, student. Today we are going to have picture labeling for Chinese students. So the first picture here in front of us, we are having the hand, in which we can see here. We can start from the forearm bones. What we can see that is here the radius, and here we go the ulna. After that, we are having here the eight carpal bones. We can start from here, scaphoid, lunate, tracheal, pisiform. After that, we are having here trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and the hamate. Then we are having here the five metacarpals. Start from the thumb side, first, second, third fourth and the fifth metacarpal in the thumb we are having the two fillings proximal distal and rest of the fingers we are having the three proximal middle and the distal the next picture is showing the anterior view of the knee joint Let's talk about the bones first. This is the femur. We got here the tibia. We got here the fibula. And here is the patella. We talk about the articular cartilage here. That is the hyaline cartilage here, here, and here. Next, we can talk about the fibrocartilage meniscus. This side, this, this is the medial meniscus, and this one is the literal meniscus. Now we can come to the ligaments. Start from the middle here. This is the anterior cruciate ligament. This is the posterior cruciate ligament. Medially, this is medial side. This one is the medial collateral ligament which is also known as tibial collateral ligament due to the tibia in this side. And the laterally, this one is the lateral collateral ligament or fibular collateral ligament. This one is the patella ligament and this is the tendon of the quadricep femoris muscle. Next picture, we can see the frontal view of the muscles of the face. First of all, this big one we can see the frontalis muscle, which is the frontal belly of the occipital frontalis muscle. This one is the temporalis muscle. Around the eye, orbicularis oculi, around the mouth, orbicularis oris. On the nose, this one, nasalis muscle. From the zygomatic bone, this zygomatic major and the minor muscle. And here, mentalis muscle. Depressor libere inferioris muscle. Depressor anguli, oris muscle. Rhizorius muscle. We can see here stomach, frontal view. Let's talk about what structures we can find here. This part of the stomach, we call that cardiac part. And this dome-shaped upper portion, we call that fundus. And the rest of this part, we call that body of the stomach. And this part, we call that pyloric part, in which we are having pyloric antrum, and pyloric canal. We got here esophagus, we got here duodenal. It go the two curvatures, greater curvature and the 
lesser curvature. This one here is the cardiac notch, and this one here is pelvic. We got here anterior and posterior view of the liver. Let's see that the more superiorly we can see diaphragm. Here we go the left lobe, here we go the right lobe. This is the falciform ligament. This is the gallbladder. We got here bare area, inferior vena cava. Caudate lobe, quadrate lobe, round ligament or ligamentum teres hepatis, ligamentum venosum, gallbladder with this duct, cystic duct, common bile duct, portal vein, hepatic proper artery we can see the anterior view of the lungs here we got the left lung here we got the right lung most superiorly apex most inferiorly we got here the base we can see here on the left lung the upper lobe or superior lobe and downside here this one is the inferior lobe and it is having the one fissure which is the oblique fissure this is the cardiac notch and this one is the lingua tongue-like structure on the right lung again the same thing apex base this is the superior lobe this one is the downside middle lobe and here is the inferior lobe three lobes here and two fissure this is the horizontal fissure and this one is the oblique fissure section of the kidney the most outer we can see here the fibrous capsule of the kidney in the part we are having the light area that we call that cortex or renal cortex which is also forming the renal columns in the dark area is the renal medulla which is also forming this pyramidal shaped structure we call that renal pyramid we got here minor calyx major calyx and the renal pelvis we got here renal artery renal vein and this one is the ureter and this hollow space here known as renal sinus We can see here the sagittal section of the male reproductive system. We need to identify, first of all, the testis. Around the testis, we are having the scrotum. This worm like structure called epididymis. This duct is known as ductus deferens or was a difference. Now we identify the three accessory glands of the male seminal vesicle, prostate, and this small one is the bulbourethral gland, also known as Cowper's gland. Here, this one is the ejaculatory duct.
This part here is the urethra. Prostatic urethra, membranous urethra, and this complete is a spongy or penile urethra. We can see here the penis, corporal cavernosum, the upper two, and corporal spongiosum, the lower one. This is the glands of the penis and the skin around it repuse. This is the urinary bladder, ureter, and the rectum and anus. Other structures I also mentioned. Next picture is about the female reproductive system. We can start from here. The first of all, ovary, then the uterine tube, fimbria, infantibulum, ampulla, and the rest of the uterine tube here. We got here the uterus, fundus of the uterus, body of the uterus, and the cervix of the uterus. If talk about these walls, endometrium, myometrium, and perimetrium. Here we are having the vagina. Anterior to this part, we are having urinary bladder and urethra. Posteriorly, rectum and anal. We got here clitoris, libia majorum, libia minorum. Now, this one is the last picture in which we can see the section of the heart. Let's talk about the four chambers. This one is the left atrium. This one is the right atrium. The upper two chambers. We got here the left ventricle and the right ventricle. Lower two chambers of the heart. If we talk about the four valves, we are having here the two atrioventricular valves. This one is the bicuspid, also known as mitral valve, and this one is the tricuspid. This is the aortic semilunar valve, and this one is the pulmonary semilunar valve. Between the two atria, here we can see the septum, interatrial septum. And between the two ventricles, we are having the interventricular septum. The valve's cusp are held by tendons, we call them tendonite cordi. And they are finger-like muscles, we call them papillary muscle. Except that the trabeculi muscles. Now we talk about external vessels. We got here pulmonary trunk is divided into the left and the right. We got here the aorta which is having its three branches. Left subclavian, left common carotid and brachiospheric. We got here superior vena cava, inferior vena cava. We got here left and the right pulmonary veins. Thank you very much.